Hey y'all, what is up? It is me, Mark, and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Hi, I finally arrived. I am on YouTube, and if you don't know me, my name is Mark, aka Snarky Marky on TikTok. I'm that guy who yells at the camera as if I'm a teacher. I'm that person who swings purses and reenacts Karen. So, welcome to my channel. It is so great having you here, and I'm so excited to start this new YouTube journey. Like, I have been wanting to be a YouTuber since I was literally 10 years old. Like, I remember sitting, watching Joey Graceffa and wishing I was him. So I'm just so excited that I'm finally here. I finally built up the motivation to start a YouTube channel and I'm so glad I'm here. And I'm so glad to have y'all here with me. I would firstly like to say that, whoa, my hair looks really bad. I just wanted to say that I am no professional. I am not particular, what's the word? I am not particularly, is that the, ugh. I am not particularly, let's just say it's that, good at editing YouTube videos. I mean, I would just like to tell y'all that I will be editing this video on iMovie on my iPhone and my setup is literally my phone standing on a toilet being held by a toilet paper roll. So that's an indicator of how professional I am as a YouTuber. But today I will be answering questions that y'all asked me on Instagram. I put a little question box on my story and I got a lot of questions from y'all. So I am so excited to answer them and let's get started. So Susie asks, <laughs> asks, why did I start TikTok? So I downloaded the app in around April 2019, I would say, and I would kind of just scroll on my For You page and I kind of saw a little bit of everything on my For You page. I mean, I saw craft videos, I saw humor videos, I saw dog videos, and I see these average everyday people getting on the For You page, getting hundreds of thousands of likes, and I'm sitting there thinking, why am I not in this? Why am I not filming videos? Why am I not creating content? I mean, if these people can get on the For You page, I can as well. I mean, I'm a pretty average Joe person, right? So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just try and make some content. And in April, I tried to, I mean, I was kind of copying people, following trends, not really being original. And I kind of just posted whatever. Nothing really went viral. So I deleted the app until around July of that year, July, 2019. So I was a part of summer TikTok. Let me say that first. And so I actually posted a video because I saw it was a trend for kids to pack away their themes and run away from home, do like a little role play thing. And I was like, why don't I try this? I mean, I have nothing to lose. I have 80 followers on here. I mean, what am I gonna do to get viral? I was willing to sell my soul to the devil in order to get TikTok famous. So I'm like, Okay, let me try doing this stupid video. And I made one and it got like 200,000 views, which is crazy. And I got a thousand followers from it. So I'm like, okay. And I was like, oh no, I don't want my whole account being me running away. So I kind of carried that for a good, I don't know, week. And then I stopped and I started making POV TikToks and those kind of started to blow up. So that's the story of why I started TikTok. It's because I saw that everyone else was able to go viral and I wanted to go viral too. So yeah, it's worked, I guess you could say. Next question is from Chris Turcott. Hey, Chris. <laughs> if y'all don't know him and I were in Hawaii together this year. Tips to grow your TikTok following. Um... I usually say this to everyone. I mean, this first part is mainly directed to people who are still in school. Um, I know a lot of people hold back on TikTok because they're scared about what people are going to say about them at school. They think people are going to bully them. But if you really want to go TikTok famous or grow your account, you really have to put 100% of yourself out there. You have to do crazy things. You have to scream. You have to yell if you have to. And you just, you, you can't hold back, you know? In the videos where I hold back a little bit, back in the day when I started making them, those didn't go viral. Those didn't get on the For You page. But the ones where I was full on screaming and yelling, those are the ones that landed on the For You page. So I totally recommend that you put 100% of yourself out there. And secondly, find your niche. I mean, on TikTok, there is a niche for almost everything. And if there isn't a niche for what you're trying to do, 
you can create that. So I would totally recommend to maybe start your own niche. I mean, I guess you could say I started my own niche with the whole Karen thing. I mean, I know Duncan and I both do Karen content. So him and I are really close actually because of that. Duncan, you not. So I guess we have our little niche going on there. I mean, it's really small niche, but I mean, start your own niche if you can. I mean, there are some people whose niches are comprised of only themselves because they're the only person who's able to perfect that. So I mean, maybe try following some trends, then find your niche and that's how you blast off. That's, that's how I think. And I totally think anyone's capable of being TikTok famous because I think everyone has a talent. And if you're able to truly find your inner talent, and express it on TikTok, you can blow up because that algorithm is very helpful to new users. Abby asks, favorite TikTok you've ever made and why? So this may come as a surprise to you guys, but I love making dance videos. I know I'm not a dancer, obviously, like I cannot dance, look at me. <laughs> but I love making dance videos. I made a TikTok at Playlist Live with Peyton Coffey, Dara, Yuquan, Madison, AKA Scout 2015, Asher, and Chloe. And that TikTok really represents what Playlist Live was like. I had an amazing experience there. It was the best weekend of my life. And I just look back at that video almost every day and it brings a smile to my face because I truly made so many friends that weekend. And the song is so good. And it's just, it was such an amazing weekend. And filming that TikTok with them, I know it was only 15 seconds, but it truly, truly, truly was such a fun TikTok to film. JT asks, hey JT, um, who was the most down to earth TikToker at Playlist? So almost everyone I met was super nice to me, but I'd have to say the most down to earth TikToker was definitely Sherry Nicole, who is Addison Ray's mother. She was so sweet, like so sweet. And she was just so energetic and really had a conversation with me. We only spoke for about two minutes, but we had such a good conversation. We were talking about her upbringing. I was saying that her family is the definition of Southern charm and that I love her family. And she was so sweet. She was talking to me about what life was like in Louisiana, where she's from. And she was just such a sweet woman. And I truly, truly, truly love and respect her. Nat asks, how did I get my name Snarky Murky? I did not want my username to just be my first and last name, mainly because I didn't want colleges and universities to look up my name and be turned off by my content and think I'm a crazy person, even though they've probably found everything by now. But I kind of wanted to find a cute little clever name. I thought of Marky because people used to call me Marky, people still do. And I saw that Snarky rhymes and I was like, okay, cool, Um, am I Snarky? I don't think so. I mean, I can get snarky with my friends because we're snarky at each other, but I'm not snarky. I'd like to consider myself a friendly person. I don't know, that's up to you. Perception is reality. So whatever you think of me, that's the truth. But I don't think I'm snarky. I don't try to be snarky, but yeah. Bean asks, favorite singer at the moment. So Casey Musgraves is my favorite singer. I love Casey Musgraves. Let me first and foremost say that Golden Hour by Casey Musgraves is the best album of all time. You can't tell me otherwise. Like you cannot tell me otherwise. But I've also been loving Kelsey Ballerini, Country Queen, we stand her. Homecoming Queen, iconic. Hole in the Bottle, iconic. Love Kelsey Ballerini. Which leads me to a similar question by Zoe, from Zoe. Whose music do I listen to? Believe it or not, I love country music. Don't cancel me, don't cancel me. I love country music. Hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. I was ignorant about country music as well. Let me just say that. I used to think, ew, country's so bad. I heard the stereotypical country music that everyone hates. But then I saw that Casey Musgraves won album of the year at the Grammys and I'm like, okay, it must be pretty good. So I listened to it, amazing. And so I was like, okay, this is labeled as country. So let me try and find some other country artists. And I found, Kelsey Ballerini, Carrie Underwood, Thomas Rhett, Luke Combs, love them. They're amazing. 
And I think you guys should try and listen to some country music because it's truly an amazing genre. I also listen to Ariana Grande. Sinanu asks, what do I want to be as an adult? So I wanna to go to university and major in international relations. So hopefully with that, I'll be able to get a job at the United Nations. Obviously, I hope my social media career can last but we see it happen people have their rises and their falls which is truly sad it's just not realistic to have you know this longevity okay, the next question is from kelly khan when did i get possessed by a middle-aged mother of three yes i'm karen you guys know what a karen is the middle-aged white suburban mother who likes to wreak havoc in grocery stores yes i used to work at a grocery store so i know firsthand what a karen is and what they do. So I used some of my experiences at the grocery store to try and recreate them. I didn't coin the term Karen, but I never saw anyone play a Karen on TikTok. So I'm like, why don't I try it? And I guess it worked out. Gabs asks, do I have any dogs? I have one dog named Casey. She is about five or six years old and she is a Wheaton Terrier. She is very antisocial though. I expected to have a dog that would act the way they do in the movies, but my dog doesn't even wig her tail when I walk through the door, which is sad. And I really wish she was more interactive with me, but what can you do? Emily asks, have I ever been in a relationship? I have never been in a relationship. I am 99% sure that I will be single for life because no one has ever shown any interest in me. Gotta love that, right? Ariana asks, favorite TV show, book, or movie? My favorite TV shows are Big Brother, Survivor, The Challenge, Floribama Shore, Teen Mom. Yes, I love reality TV. I literally only watch reality TV. I mean, I just cannot watch scripted TV shows. It's just too much for me. I can only sit down and watch reality shows because that's what I've been raised on. I was raised on K plus eight, Little People, Big World, 19 kids and counting, if you know what I mean. I was raised on reality TV, so that's the only thing that I have in me. So that's the only thing I can really watch. So I love reality TV though. Like I keep up with it. I follow all of them on Instagram. I would love to be on a reality show one day though. <laughs> favorite book? My favorite book is The Hunger Games. Favorite movie, The Hunger Games. Ariana asks, dream vacation. Love your TikToks by the way. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. And my dream vacation would be a road trip down in the deep south of America. I'd love to go down to North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, Texas, Kansas, all of those states. I just feel like it's such a fun time. I love country music, so I would love to listen to that music in the car. Our Musabi asks, favorite word? Period. Anne asks, do I really say big IRL or is it just a little gig on my POVs? So here's the tea. I do have a Canadian accent for sure. I have a weird fusion of accents. I mean, I have that Valley Girl accent, which makes me sound really ditzy. I have this Canadian slash Wisconsin slash Michigan accent. I have a Southern accent sometimes because I listen to country music and it kind of rubs off on me, I won't lie. So I do say big, I mean, not as harshly as I do in my videos. I mean, in my videos I say big, I, I really push it out there. But in real life, I say big. Can I have a big please? Not as harsh, but I still say it like that. Same thing with sorry. I say sorry, which makes everyone laugh. At Playlist Live, everyone was asking me, do you actually say that? Do you actually say sorry? And I say, yeah, I say sorry. Arusa, hey girl, asks me, where does my confidence come from? I got this from a, one of those quote Instagram accounts and it said, the only way you can be truly confident is when you stop giving a crap about what others think about you. And I saw that and that makes total sense. I mean, I really don't care about what people think about me. I mean, there's obviously people at school who criticize me for my TikToks. Again, who are you? Who are you to speak? 
So I don't care. I mean, if you have a problem with me, just don't watch my videos. Ellen asks, how do I feel about Max Dressler duetting you? I love you. I love you too, Ellen. I love Max Dressler. Max is actually the sweetest person. He's been so good to me. He's reacted to countless videos of mine, which I appreciate because, you know, it helps both of us. So that concludes my Q&A video. Thank you all for coming and watching it. I truly appreciate it. If you want me to do more Q&A videos or if you have any video suggestions, feel free to comment down below. And before you click off with this video, make sure you give this a thumbs up and click subscribe and share with your friends because I would truly appreciate it. Mark out. Bye guys.